Welcome back to The Reading Corner with Mrs. G. For more great stories, subscribe here. And if you enjoy the stories of everyone's favorite big red dog, Clifford, we have several of those in The Reading Corner as well, including today's story that we're going to do, Clifford at the, the Firehouse Dog. We also have Clifford's Good Deeds, Clifford's Pals, Clifford Goes to Hollywood, and Clifford at the Circus. So check back in the reading corner for those stories as well. It only takes a little to be big. This is a Be Big, Help Others book, and we see that Clifford is very helpful in this story. Let's see what happens. Oh, and at the very end, we have some fire safety tips, so stay tuned for those. See this little girl? She tells a story, her name is Emily Elizabeth. My name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog, Clifford. Clifford is not the oldest in his family, but he is the biggest. Here's a picture of his family. Last week, Clifford and I went to the city to visit Clifford's brother, Nero. Clifford knew the way. Nero lives in a firehouse. He is a fire rescue dog. I asked the firefighters if Clifford could help them. They thought he was the right color for the job. Just then, a group of school children came in for a fire safety class. Nero showed them what to do if their clothing was on fire. To smother the flames, you stop, drop to the floor, and roll until the fire is out. Stop, drop, roll. You might want to practice that. Stop, drop, roll. Clifford thought he could do that. He repeated the lesson for the class. He stopped, he dropped, he rolled. He rolled a little too far. Uh-oh. Just then, we heard the siren. There was a fire. Nero stayed to guard the children. Clifford and I ran ahead. He cleared the street for the fire trucks. Smoke was pouring from the top floor of a tall building. Clifford pushed the crowd back to a safe place. He saw some people in trouble. Clifford to the rescue. The heavy hose was hard to unreal. Clifford gave the firefighters a hand. But then he saw that the fire hydrant was stuck shut. Thank goodness Clifford was there to unstick it. They had to get the smoke out of the building. Clifford made a hole in the roof. The firefighters were calling for more water. Clifford found some. He helped clear the smoke away. When the fire was out, Clifford made sure that the firefighters got out of the building safely. They were grateful for everything he had done to help. We gave some firefighters a ride back to the firehouse. Clifford was a hero. The fire chief made him an honorary fire rescue dog, just like his brother Nero. All right, we have some fire safety tips for you. The first one, number one, is to tap the number of the fire department in your phone, which is 911. If there's a fire, you dial or tap. 911. Got it? Say 911. You can do it. Number two, know two different ways out of your house or apartment building. 
You should always have two exits, two way out. If there's a fire in the kitchen, which door or window would you use to get out of the house? Number three, choose a place nearby where you and other members of your family can meet if you have to leave your house and get separated. So you should have a place planned. Is it the next door neighbor? Is it across the street? Where is it that you're gonna meet your family after you get out of the house? Number four, never go back into your house for anything if the building is on fire. Never go back in. Number five, tell your mom or dad to change the battery in your smoke alarms every year on your birthday. That way you don't forget. Number six, do not play with matches. And number seven, never use the stove without an adult. I remember once when I was in second grade, I think I would have known better, I was I made a pinwheel and I put it over the stove to make it go, caught on fire. Not a good idea. I was not being very smart. So practice your fire safety rules and stay safe. We'll see you next time in the Reading Corner with Mrs. G. And don't forget, practice your stop, drop, and roll. It could kind of be fun. Enjoy your practice. See you next time.